Hi guys, I'm Mikhail from Prague ICU and today I'm going to show you how to prepare the agar Phantom model for ultrasound guided cannulation. Which components do we need for preparation of the agar model? First of all, 2 liter plastic container with prepared holes on the sides, 2 plastic tubes as vessel analogs are placed through the box from the end to end. Then we have here a measuring jug for water, wheat flour, oil, conservant and finally agar, 900 grams over square centimeters. Before preparing the agar liquid, lubricate the walls of the plastic box and the tubes with oil. This will help with easy removal of the plastic tubes and the agar model itself from the box at the end. Pour 2 liters of cold water into the pot. For the Phantom, we use 20 grams of agar per 1 liter of water. So, in our case, mix 2 liters of cold water with 40 grams of agar. Stir until agar is suspended in water without clamps. Then sprinkle 1 teaspoon of flour into the mix. Again, try to avoid clamping. Flour is quite useful in order to increase the opacity of the phantom. Add it to the agar mixture and stir it thoroughly again. Then bring the whole mixture to boil while stirring periodically until it's homogenized. When the mixture starts to boil, reuse the heat to minimum and continue boiling for another approximately 2 minutes. Add a bit of conservant glycerol that will prolong the durability of the model. Use the kitchen sieve to remove the remaining solid particles while pouring the mixture into the plastic container. Then place the phantom into the refrigerator for 1 hour. Once the model solidifies, remove the plastic tubes. You now have a model with two air filled tunnels resembling vessels. Put the model into a new plastic box without holes at the ends. While in the container, fill the vessels with water. Remove excessive air within the vessels by tilting the container. Squeeze air out and refill the vessels with water. The Phantom is now ready to be used as a training model for ultrasound guided intravenous cannulation. You can practice both short axis or long axis techniques. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more educational videos from Prague ICU.